Welcome guys to the third class. So for today's class, we are going to be talking about operators. In the first class, I mentioned about them briefly and we used some of the operators like the mathematical operators while we were discussing variables. So for this lesson, we are going to discuss in depth and introduce to us different uh, kind of operators and their use cases um, and how they are used. So um, there are so many uh, operators in JavaScript. And the most popular one or the most popular used operators are the mathematical or arithmetic operator. So we have plus, we have minus, we have division and we have multiplication. And there is this rare one times times is known as exponential. In your mathematics, when you want to do a number raised to power something, this is how you do it in JavaScript. For example, if you want to do two raised to power three, this is how you do it. So this is not two times three, but two raised to power three, something like this, two raised to power three, like this. So let us uh, quickly do some examples here. For plus, you can do two plus two, and that will give you four. Uh, typo there. That will give you four. And can do the same with minus two minus two. That will give you zero. And we can do the same with division. Two divided by two. And to multiply by two. So if you look at the logs, you'll see two divided by two gives us one and two times two gives us four. So this is arithmetic operations. And this, I told you it is a uh, raise to power. So if you want to do two raised to power three, you do this, and when you run this, you see um, I did raised power two, so you wouldn't know the difference. I do raised power three, you see it is eight. And you know what two raised power three is in mathematical form, how to spread it out is two times two times two. So this is the same as this. So if I, I come here and I do two times two times two, it will give me the same value as this, which is eight. So that is the raised power. We also have one more um, uh, mathematical operator that is not popularly used, but is very handy. It's called modulus, and the symbol is percent. It's called modulus. So what modulus does, it operates like a division but rather than giving you the value of the division, 
it gives you the value of the remainder. So if we run um, mod loss, if we run mod loss two mod loss two, what do you think will be the, the value? Can anyone try? It yeah. will be zero. Yes, correct. So because two divided by two does not have any remainder, so it will be zero. So let's comment this so that you see the one we are talking about. So you see, this modulus gives us one, which is what we expected. So whenever you are using modulus, make sure that you are dividing, uh, you are putting the larger number by the left side and putting the lower number that you want to divide by to find the remainder. So it's, uh, again, it's not a must that you place it this way. You can also do this to uh, modulus three, depending on what you are programming uh, for. So mostly the way this is used is that you want to check for an even number or you want to check for an odd number. You know, those kind of cases, you can use modulus. For example, if you want to check if a number is an uh, even number, we can do, let's log even. So if one to say, if say 78 is an even number, we are going to do 78 modulus two equals to, this is another operator which I will introduce to us very soon, equals to zero. So this will return true or false, depending if the number is even. So if it returns true, it means this number is even. What if we do 77? See, it returns false, meaning that this number is not even. So modulus helps us to check that because we know that even number can divide by two without any remainder. So what this code is simply doing is, is checking that 77 divided by two is the remainder equals to zero. That's what this is checking. And that is how you can find your even numbers and odd number. So uh, we have two more um, arithmetic operation before we dive into something else. Uh, and those operators are plus plus and minus minus. So plus plus is an increment and minus minus is decrement. So you use it to reduce value of a variable, uh, increase or reduce value of a variable. So example, if we declare a variable, let x equals to 50. If we console.log x plus plus. Our plus plus increments the value by one. When you do a plus plus, it increments the value by one. So if I log this, it's going to be 51. Uh, I need to assign this value. X plus plus. then print X. You see this? The, the, the resultant is 51. Do you know that we did a plus plus without any assignment operator? 
you know, you would have expected uh, us to assign it back to X for it to get effect. But this plus plus is actually a short form of X equals to X plus one. This is the same as this. So when you do plus plus, JavaScript mutates the variable. When we say mutate, it means changing the value of the variable and assigning new value to it or modifying the previous value. And this plus plus operation, what it does is to add one to the value. So the same we can do x minus minus. You already know what this should do. It will reduce one from the previous value and reassign it to x. So if we comment this, this is going to give us 49. So since I said this one is a short form of this, this one is also a short form of X equals to X minus one. So this expression is the same as this. And that is all the arithmetic operators that uh, are available in JavaScript. The next operator we are going to talk about is the assignment operators. Assignment operators. So everything up here, they are all arithmetic operators. These are all arithmetic operators. So the below here, we want to discuss assignment operators. So JavaScript have a couple of different assignment operators. And the first one is equal sign, which we have used a couple of times. We've used it here. And we used it when we were discussing variables. And plus equals to, minus equals to, times equals to, divide uh, equals to. So uh, with this, you, you, you would already know what they are doing when I explain to you, um, it will be clear. So this is, remember what I said, double uh, uh, multiplication is, is exponential raised to power. So we have equals to plus equals to minus equals to times equals to divide equals to modulus equals to and exponential equals to. So now the equal operator is used to, to initialize a variable or to assign a value to a variable or to override the value of a variable. So if we define a variable, let X, we use equals to, to initialize the variable to a value. For example, 34. If we print this X, it will give us the value that was assigned to it. Let's comment this out. 34. Now, what does plus equals to do for us? Now, plus equals to does two things. It adds the number in the right 
to the value of the variable and reassign it to it. So when you do x plus equals to two, what will be the value of x if, if we log this now? 36. So if I run this, I'll get 36. So plus equals to is also like a shorthand of x equals to x plus two. Remember plus plus is x plus one. This one with plus equals to, you can add bigger numbers, number that is more than one. But with plus plus, it only adds one to it. So with plus equals to, you can add more than one. So it can be 20, it can be 200, then this means this. The same apply to other operators. They perform the action that is in, uh, that is behind them and assigns the value again to the variable. So if we perform the x minus equals to 20, for example, this will become 14. And this is a shorthand for x minus 20. Okay, we have the times equals to, so x times equals to two will give us what? That will be 34 times two, which will be 68. 68. And this is a shorthand for x equals to x times two. And the other operator, the division does the same, divide equals to two. And this will give us 17. And it is short form for X equals to X divided by two. Okay. The next one is modulus. So if I say x modulus two, this mm -hmm. will give us um, zero. the remainder of 32 divided by two, which is zero because there's no remainder. So this is the short form of x equals to x modulus two. If I run this, I will get the same zero. Cool. Mm -hmm. And the last but not the least, x exponential equals to two. This will give us 34 raised to power two, which will be 1156 and this is the same thing as x equals to x mod, uh, exponential 2. This is the short form of this and this is also equal to when I say uh, exponential I mean x times x because it's raised to power 2. So if I run this, I will definitely get the same value. I need to remove these operations that I've done here and you definitely get the same value. So these are all assignment operators.
in JavaScript. String operator. So, string does not have a special operation, but the same arithmetic operators can perform differently when it comes to string. String operators. So everything that you use here can be used to operate on a string. So let's, let x equals to lovet. Now, when you multiply, when you add, when you use a plus, on a string, when you use a plus on a string, it does not add it arithmetically. It concatenates the two strings. So let's uh, y equals to 20. So if we do console log, And so log x plus y is going to concatenate this name with the number, which will give us uh, which will give us lovet twenty. Is it clear? Yes, but there is a question I want to ask. Okay. What if you what if you want this lovet? And 20 to so have a space. You just add a space here. No. Where you want the space to be. You can you see. Want, you add the space in the variable. Okay. You can depend. You can add it here or you can close a space. All right. And when I run this, I will get space in between. If let z equals to five, for example, remember what I told you about string. When it's double quote or single quote, that makes it a string, whether it be it's a name or a number that is inside, it is a string. So this five, is not a number, it's a string. So it will be operated on as a string. So if we, if we do something like Z plus Y, which is a number, because it is not a number plus a number, I can remove this middle one for you to see clearly function. If I run this code, you see you get 520. So what happened here, it did not add the two number, it concatenated it. It added the five and the 20 together. Then you get 520. Assuming this is not a string, which is in, not inside the code, then you get the normal arithmetic operation, which is 25. But because this is in a quote, making it a string is going to concatenate them. What if we do minus? What will happen? No. <laughs> so here is where um, JavaScript helps us. You see that this is a string. So minus in JavaScript does not concatenate or it does not subtract from a string. For example, if we do X, which is actually a string minus actual number, 
Let's see what happens there. You see what happens? Not a number. Said not a number. This noun means not a number. So you cannot use a minus to operate on a string. When you do that, why this one worked for us when we do y minus z is because it was able to coerce this to a number. So it passes this and converts it to a number, then makes the operation. And that is why we get 15. Do you understand now? So JavaScript helps us here to convert this particular one into a number and does the operation for us, assuming that that is what we want. But if you do this in real life, you can get uh, something that you don't expect. So whenever you have a string, make sure if you want to use a minus to operate on them, make sure you convert them to numbers rather than string. So um, JavaScript doesn't assume what you really don't mean. So what if we do divide? So if we do divide the same uh, behavior that uh, minus does, that same thing that um, division does also. So if we change this to X right now, then you get not a number. The same with times, not a number. But when you use y, for example, that has a number and a, a, a string number, then it will help you a little bit to convert that. But do not get, uh, do not give it this leeway. So what if we do lovet times three? See, not a number. So because this is what? a string. Okay. So the same thing with exponential, the same thing with modulus. These are arithmetic operations that cannot be performed in string. So more or less, the only arithmetic operators that happens in a string is using the plus and it is only used for concatenation. Concatenation. So if you add a string and a number, it will just join the two together, like we demonstrated. So if you add X plus Y, we've done that already. And if you add a number Y plus Z, is just going to concatenate the value. 